Hello, my name is Ermont and today I'm going to explain what a quad shaft encoder is and how it is used. The first thing we're going to do is open up EZC. I'm using EZC version 4, but you can use 5 since it is out. First we're going to come over here and hit open project. Next we're going to open samples. Now you get all these samples if you have bought the full version. Now you come over and open quad encoder test open and we'll to open it again next your screen should your screen should look like mine uh, the first thing we're, we're going to talk about is the variables I'm going to double click this and they've already made a uh, variable for us it's called encoder and it's a long and we're going to use this later on in the program they have a few notes for us to connect the quad encoder to digital inputs 1 and 5 so on your quad encoder you should have two wires one of them goes into digital port 1 and the other goes into digital port 5 and there are 360 encoder ticks per revolution just like a circle which has 360 degrees the encoder has 360 ticks it counts for a full revolution which it uses to measure the distance it has traveled next we have a start encoder I'm going to double click this. This is a start encoder which are plugged into ports 1 and 5 and the direction is currently not inverted and we're going to talk about this more later on in the next video. Now what the start basically does is it starts the encoder and that's all it's doing. Next we have a preset quad encoder. Now this preset it sets a preset, it's still in the same ports, and this is presetting the encoder to zero. Next we have a while loop. Let's double click on this. The while loop is one, which means that it's an infinity loop. In the while loop we have encoder equals get quad encoder. And it's getting it's a get it's still in the same ports and it's retrieving to the information so the cortex is retrieving information from the encoder which are coming from ports 1 and 5 then we have a print to screen which we're going to which I'm going to show in just a few mo moments how it's used next we're going to add our own wait time for one, one tenth of a second or 100. Next I'm going to hit F7 or come up here and build and download. And would you like to download the program? Yes. Now you can see at the moment the encoder is currently zero. Now if I'm going to turn my shaft clockwise it's turning positive which is what I want at the moment. No matter how I turn my encoder as long as the face that says VEX is facing me it's going to stay positive. Now for instance let's say I turn it around and the gray face is facing me and I turn it clockwise the numbers are starting to come down and are now negative numbers now this is where inverting comes is very important for instance let's say you wanted you had to mount your court, uh, shaft encoder like this but you needed to invert your numbers so clockwise is positive how would you do that well there's two ways you can switch your wires around or you can go to your program and at the start encoder just invert invert it and that should do the trick uh, please continue watching for part two